so I was like already like first of all my cycle's coming soon and I've been like so in my emotions oh god when I tell you so in my emotions I mean so in my emotions so I'm like literally was like high as hell still crying and I mean because it's just like okay let's get into it so one so one it has really been hard on me coming to the realization that I was hated so much like I know that I talk about it a lot I know that I talked about it on the last couple of videos but it was just a major epiphany to me that people I didn't give a fucking thought to were literally like plotting on me were literally like praying on my downfall were literally like coming for me and despite my generosity and kindness and willingness to help people and be kind and really try to stay conflict free you know that's really been hard on me and I have to overemphasize it and I have to speak about it because I look back on so many things that had I just known that people were jealous of me I might have not gotten sick or I might have not messed up or I might have not put myself in that position or I might have not been you know hanging out with them or putting myself in compromising positions I really hope okay because I'm really not the one today I was gonna say I really hope this homeless man really don't fucking try me because I'm really not the fucking one today I'm really not the fucking one I'm on oh god I'm not the one on oh god you're an able-bodied man and you're asking me a young girl for money on oh god I'm not the fucking one I'm sorry when my parents turned their back on me and my college degree didn't do shit for me I figured out how to get it y'all can call me a hoe oh blah 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 she's a hoe blah blah I don't give a damn y'all bitches do the same thing for fucking free every day more than me I don't give a fuck you broke hoes stupid hoes I remember being in the car with my mom driving to Detroit and she would be talking about my cousin she's like well if you're gonna be a hoe at least be a paid hoe well mama I listened and these hoes y'all wanna laugh but y'all be doing more than me the absolute most for free the absolute most the most the fucking most for fucking free I don't wanna hear about it so Oh my god y'all hoes be having sti y'all don't even have enough money y'all don't even get enough money to pay for the sti that the nigga's gonna give you so you gotta pay you you know fucked raw for free and now you gotta pay for the dick that you got and the sti this nigga gave you stupid hoe stupid ass hoes stupid dumb bitches golly And they want to snicker about me. Snicker about your stank ass pussy. Snicker about it, bitch. Snicker about your pussy that ain't never done shit for you besides send you to the gynecologist. Let's snicker about that. So, yeah. I've been really in my feelings because it's really been hard for me to, like, you know, wrap my head around the hate and wrap my head around... where I'm going because I'm certainly not going to fit here that's a hell no hell no 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 certainly not going to stay in this position that I'm in and it's not it's not the worst position I've been in worse positions I've been shit I've been in worse position it's actually a solid position to be in but I'm not going to stay I'm not a stagnant ass bitch I'm not a stank pussy stagnant ass bitch like you hoes, like you dumb hoes. So yeah, it's been really hard for me. So I've really been in my feelings because it's like every time I'm trying to, I'm over here doing a reading on myself for myself and I'm, I'm over here trying to, you know, 
get the word and why why one of the first cards that pop out is jealousy like damn shit shit we can't even get to the message before i get a fucking message about a hating asshole damn now i'm doing a reading on me for me and i can't even get to the word before i i, I have to see be reminded again hold on don't forget the jealous hoes 444 four, four. license plate 444 four, four. i'm protected that's their way of saying that's their way of saying it's okay you got haters and we want you to know you got haters but you're protected 444 four, four. look it up it's about divine protection and i'm pretty sure abundance i'm pretty sure it's about being divinely protected being loved and it might also be about being like a match to your financial goals or abundance. But it's definitely about protection. So the license plate next to me, 444. Four, four. They say, pipe down, sis. Yes, we letting you know that you got haters, but you're protected. And yes, I know I'm protected. But it still hurts, y'all. It still hurts to realize. If you really been thinking that some motherfuckers was your friends, or even not even your friends, because we, I, I, I ain't that damn dumb. You know, I ain't never been that damn dumb. So not even your friends, but y'all, you thought that y'all was cool. Y'all didn't have no beef. And then time after time after time after time, spirit is reminding you, nah, bitch, you got some haters. And they're closer than you think. You know, because it's like, okay, the little random YouTube motherfuckers that I just delete before I even read the shit, irrelevant. You know, haters that I meet in passing or... You know, they, they scared I'm going to steal they nigga when I don't want they nigga because, I mean, they nigga, if they nigga, why would I want a nigga that's already a cheating, unfaithful ass nigga? I mean, I'm not a dumb hoe like y'all. Like, damn. I mean, y'all hoes be going down, down bad. Y'all really be over here fighting over a nigga that's already a cheater. And then you think a bitch like me want a cheater. Wow. I love myself. <laughs> A cheater is a cheater. A cheater is a cheater is a cheater. A, che a man can have a whole fucking queen, a whole fucking empress. And if he's a fucking cheater, he's a fucking cheater. And I ain't got shit to do with you. That ain't, ain't got shit to do with me. If a motherfucker cheat on me, it ain't got shit to do with me. He, he just a motherfucking cheater. <laughs> and I'ma leave him with the bum bitches that he fooling with. He can, they can have him. I'm not one to try to keep a man or possess a man or try to keep a bitch from taking my man. If you can take my man and he want my man and I need to find a better man. And that's on everything. And that's on everything. So. I just. I mean damn. Last night I'm like okay. You know I haven't really. Sat down and you know. Pulled cards for myself. And I haven't really done any readings for myself personally. I you know. Let me go ahead and just do. You know tap in real quick. I only pulled three cards. Why is, why is like the second card jealousy y'all. Y'all really hate yourselves, yo. Be mad at yourself. Be mad at yourself. You're gonna hate on me because that's inevitable. Because <sighs> that's inevitable. But be mad at your motherfucking self. And stay mad, ho. But yes, sometimes it does make me sad because I didn't know that the hate was so close. I didn't know that you could literally put a bitch on. I mean, I knew you could, but I just didn't see. You can literally put a bitch on be nothing but kind, pour nothing but information and goodness into them. And that same bitch just, you know, be a hating ass hole and plotting on you and lying on you and spreading mess. And it's just like, damn, sis. Wow. But honestly, this Atlanta, this Atlanta shit is real different. I'm not saying that, like, where I'm from, like, we don't have haters, but this is just, these hoes down here is just real different. I don't know. It's like they're very lazy. They don't want to put no work in. They want to pretend to put work in. Like, it, it's like people in Atlanta don't want to work unless you can take photos of them working. It's like everything is for clout. Everything is for attention. Nobody is wants to work in silence. Nobody wants to keep their head ten toes, you know, their head down and stay ten toes down and put the work. In. Everybody just wants like, oh, did you see me working? Like, did you see me putting the work in? And it's like, when you're really putting the work in, you ain't got time to really be 
take it like trying to figure out who was watching because you really focused on putting the work in but it's like people here it's like they only want to put the work in when it can be photographed filmed talked about whatever and then when you like stay silent for a year or two and just put the work in and you finally start to shine it's like oh who does this bitch think she is but it's like i was i didn't spend the last two years flexing on instagram on everything i didn't <laughs> i promise i did not spend the last two years flexing and stunting on instagram i spent them building something i spent these last couple years building something i have articles i have a blog I have a podcast. I have over 200 videos on here. I have an OnlyFans. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But no, I really want to shut it down and just revamp. Like, because I just feel like I'm just different. And I'm not saying that my OnlyFans doesn't, like, represent me. But I just feel like I'm in a different space where I want my OnlyFans to be even more... I don't know, just, I, I want it to just be giving, honey. Like, I, I will flex on OnlyFans and you will pay me to flex. How about that? But I didn't spend the last couple years just flexing and standing on hoes on Instagram, trying to show them that I'm popping and doing it. I just spent them like, you know, putting the work in, like, you know, just putting the work in. Like, that's all, I, that's all I've been doing is just putting the work in, like, and I don't know, my cord is not charging. And it's like, I don't get how you can be mad at somebody who just chose to put the work in. Like, you, you wanted to stunt and flex for these hoes 